They have now. You ever see those bases? You ever see the acoustic bases they have yep. now? That's something you never saw years ago. I'm not good at them freeze pictures. I'm good at just talking and being no, myself. No, no, this is video. Oh, this is a video? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, they got the, they have the acoustic basses now. Right. And which they didn't have years ago. They always had the acoustic guitars, and they had acoustic basses. <clears throat> what do you want me to tell you? Whatever you were talking about. Oh, man. You want to, uh, just dealing with uh, what's happening today, uh, uh, politically, what's going on, a divide in the country today, first black president, uh, the battle going on under the dome between the GOP and the Democrats. Right. Right? Most people don't want to hear about none of this. Uh, they, want, they want to listen to their 30-minute sitcom or listen to whatever, whatever's going to make them feel good every day. Right. Politics is boring. But unfortunately, it's, a, it's mandatory that we spend part, of our, spend part of our time thinking about what the hell's going on. Right. Because when a power structure doesn't, when they see a population of people that are not paying attention to what's going on, they're going to try to take as much as they can from us. Right. Understand? And their respect level's not going to be what it should be. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What, are you, what are you angry about? What am I angry about? Yeah. <coughs> you want the truth? Oh, yeah. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. All right. Uh, what I'm angry about is, uh, in a nutshell, is that uh, I'm in battle. I'm I'm, in, I'm battling right now uh, uh, the power structure. It's gonna sound crazy. It's uh, uh, cops, NYPD intelligence, and also uh, what is it? Security. It's FBI. Right. Uh, security. What do they call that? What is it called? What do you? Uh, I'm not sure. It's the new. It's the new uh, thing through Patriot Act. Right. Uh, I'm dealing. With, I'm dealing with the federal authorities, federal badges okay. right now, and, and they're, they're making my life miserable. All right. Uh, people think that uh, that's impossible. If you don't mind me asking, what's yeah. your name? My name is John. John, if you could change one thing in the world today, what would it be? If I could change one thing. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough question. I know it is. is it? Should I be thinking about me and me alone? Doesn't matter what you're thinking Should about. Should I be thinking about it on a, on a wider, the world, wider scale? The world, the big, the big picture, your picture, whatever it is. <laughs> well, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll think beyond myself here. If I could have one wish, is that Americans, there's more solidarity amongst Americans. Where they know the laws of freedom, they know their constitution, they think highly of it. And, uh, we have Americans looking out for Americans, making sure that just like cops look out for cops, right. Americans looking out for Americans, right. uh, and knowing the, knowing the laws that the only the only thing keeping us free are the laws. Right. It's no it's no particular faction okay. or organization of people that are keeping us free. Well, what, what would be your definition of, definition of American? What's an American? My definition of an American. All right. <laughs> Someone who is uh, has the protection of uh, of our laws, right. of freedom, right? Uh, and that can that can cover a lot of different things. Yeah, sure, it does. It covers someone who was born overseas. That's and right. Was uh, uh, migrated here and became citizen. That's right. Uh, it can, yeah, anyone born on this soil mm -hmm. is an American. John, where were you born? I was born right here, Staten Island. Staten Island. Gone spot of the world. Okay. They used to say gone spot of the world was Brooklyn. <laughs> now everybody from Brooklyn moved to Staten Island, so now now I see the Garden right, Spot of the right, World. Right, right. Now. Where are you living now? <coughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm part time living in this building. Okay. So you're homeless. Yeah. But you're still surviving. Yeah, I'm surviving. Okay. What does it take for a homeless person to survive in New York City? What does it take? Yeah. What does it take? It's a lot. Oh, I know it does. That's why I'm asking have, you. You gotta have a resilient spirit. Right. You gotta want to survive. Right. Uh, what does it take? You, you gotta, you, you have to, um, you gotta want to live. Okay. Because it's easy to give up. It's of course it just, is. Uh, to throw yourself into drugs or alcohol. That's and, right. And, uh, but you haven't done that, so. No, I haven't done it. I don't so, drink or do drugs. But there's something. There must be something special about you. All right. Well, you know what? I, I, I wish there wasn't something special about me where I wasn't turning to drugs or alcohol. Right. Unfortunately, I'm unique. 
Okay. Because most, a lot of the population has turned to legal pharmaceutical drugs. We have right. a legal pharmaceutical drug epidemic in this country. Right. And we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people who are addicted to, to illegal drugs. Right, right. Okay, and alcohol too. Okay, but what makes you different? What makes me different? Right. Well, there's a lot of different reasons why. Of course, there is. I was just talking with a, a police lieutenant yesterday on a train. Right. I think one of the, one of the influences is uh, probably starts out with my parents. Okay. Uh, I think I think that for anybody growing up, parent. How your parents treated you, how right. you were raised, the values they gave you. Of course. Now, this is an old song, but I think it's the truth. Even people that have gone on to prison for, for major crimes still hold their mother or their father or beloved in their heart. Right. So, uh, and, and, but why they, uh, you know, uh, ended up where they are okay. could, in some way, probably directly connected to something their parents did one way or another. Not to, not to blame it on them, but I think parents mold their children. Right. Uh, and what was the question now? But well, John, let me ask you this. Yeah. Obviously, you're you're not a, a an unlearned man. You're very intelligent. Well, thank you very much. But you had to carry that from point A to point B to get to where you are now. So yeah. what happened? I was. What, which, I'm what, so what, intelligent that I went from having a roof to <laughs> to being homeless. Right, right, right. But. Uh, it, it, because story, something, it, yeah, something, like, something short-circuited somewhere. A story. Right. I know. I know. I we all have a story. Right. 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 Uh, you know, I, I've been in the shelters. Uh, okay. I'm a veteran. I've been in some veteran shelters. Right. Right. Like you, you, said, were in, you, 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 by, uh, you were in Vietnam. Security. You were in Vietnam. I was not. I, I was. Okay. Uh, Vietnam ended around '76. Okay. I was 14 when Vietnam ended. I got it. Okay. Yeah, I was born in '62. Okay. Got it. Homeland Security. I've been dogged by Homeland Security. Okay. As an American, I have a right to say that. Right. Homeland Security has been dogging me. And, and it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Okay. Uh, and uh, why would they care about me? They care about me because I pissed off a retired NYPD cop right. who has grown to hate me. And he turned my name in to them. And they said, let's dig through this guy's life and make his life okay. miserable. That's, what, that's how I got on the blip, of course. Uh, but... Uh, and then I found ways that if, if, if you're being surveilled through, through Homeland Security, I found right. out that you can actually communicate with them, right. which was that I do that. Some of the things I tell them, they don't like. Right. So it, it, it's been a kind of a pissing contest, okay. Uh, okay. tit for tat. Kind of. John, I, I want to thank you yeah. for sharing your yeah, story. Yeah. Real special. Thank you very What's much. What's your name, sir? Omen. Omen Harrison. Omen? All right. Omen. All right. I'm John. Right. Okay. Thank you, John. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. All right. Same here. You good? If you want to use that for the documentary, you right. can do it. Okay, thank you.